already know what 1985 has in store for you. You might not admit it publicly, but chances are you've already read what the astrologers predict will happen to your love life, wealth and health in the coming year. So is the ancient art of astrology just pie in the sky? We'll hear two completely opposing views in a moment. First, Morris Parker with a brief look at what some people believe are the secrets hidden in the heavens above. And papers were full of it. Astrology predictions for 1985. How the stars are going to affect your health, finances and romances during the coming year. There was also predictions for the famous. Prime Minister Bob Hawke, Princess Anne and even Neville Rand. For most of us, the extent of our interest in astrology is looking at these predictions in the newspapers. How many of us turn to the stars before reading the headlines? Astrology can be traced back as far as 9,000 years before the birth of Christ. The horoscope is also known as the round art, after the wheel of the zodiac containing the 12 astrological signs. Most of us know the basics. You assume an astrological sign depending on the date you were born. The star sign supposedly influences your characteristics. However, people under the same sign are not necessarily identical. Everyone assumes a different rising sign, depending on the time of day they were born. It seems the power of the star sign is very much dependent on your belief in its power. And now the left corner weighing 300 pounds, as they say, Simon Turnbull, President of the Australian Psychic Association. Hello, Simon. Hello, Simon. And Barry Williams, Chairman of the New South Wales Branch of the Australian Skeptics. Hello, I'll start with you, Simon. If, say, for some strange reason, I was a little foundling found on the doorstep, and I never knew what day I was born, what, not having that information, would that do to me in my life? It would absolutely make no difference whatsoever. The point is that if you didn't know who the doctor was, uh, that wouldn't make any difference either. Um, the facts are that astrology uh, has a basis in science. There have been uh, many, many experiments done to prove this fact. Yeah, but uh, no, uh, getting back to this point, I'm, I'm confused. You've said the wrong thing. You oh, see, I thought you'd say it made no difference. Right. Yeah, I thought all this astrology business was related to when you were born. Well, it is, in fact. The time that you're born is very important. But if I, I'm a little foundling and you don't know, uh, well, what do you do? I'm, a, I'm lost all my life. I'll still love you, Clive. Well, There's right. absolutely no question of that. That's refreshing to know. All right, Barry, I didn't get an answer there. Barry, you're chairman of the New South Wales branch of the Australian Skeptics, which sounds pretty foreboding. That's uh, not really. Have you ever convinced anyone that astrology is just a lot of hoo-ha? I've tried, Clive. Um and Simon made a gross error there. There have been no scientific uh, experiments that have proved astrology because astrology is not a scientific discipline. It's uh, superstition, magic. It's based in our uh, tribal past. It hasn't changed essentially since then. And uh, there have been many, in fact, many tests done, scientific tests done to say that astrology is, uh, has no basis in scientific fact at all. But getting back to my question, if it's on an emotional level, which you're implying, mm. Um, have you ever convinced anyone? You're using a technical argument against what you said. You can see the problem, can't you? The <laughs> yes, sure. Um, I don't know if I've convinced anyone, actually. Uh, I do my level best to convince people. Uh, people that I know I may have convinced that may have had a, a leaning that way. It's very difficult to convince a confirmed believer, though. Do you ever read the astrology charts? Uh, well, I read... Uh, I have a little thing here that Simon wrote about my organisation where he predicted we'd lose support this year, and that was on the 28th of June. Simon, just for your own interest, well, we've I actually think, doubled our membership since then. More, more members than the 40 I saw at the last meeting I went to. <laughs> All right, get, getting back to you, uh, uh, Simon. Um, why is it that um, astrologists don't appear when we look in the newspapers to agree? I can read five different papers and get, in fact, the... Sure, because, in fact, the correlatives are not all the same. You can't put very much in three or four lines. The facts are, um, there was an objections to astrology statement signed by 192 scientists. I would have thought that Barry would have brought this up. I did. And there were a number of scientists, in fact, who didn't sign that. Mar amongst them, Dr. Carl Sagan, with, I'm not going to make this too serious, but he wrote a letter back saying that, in fact, I object... I will not sign it because it, it is claiming uh, the tone of the, the whole statement was too authoritative and there's no authority. There are three separate scientists at the moment who are studying the subject. The, the, the pr most prominent is Michel Gorkelin, who has proven more in fact, Simon, come to, on. and Barry knows these facts, who has proven in fact um, with his uh, affiliate group in America, Psychops, that it, the Mars effect is a valid effect, is it not, Barry? Nothing to do with traditional astrology, and you know it, Simon. Sorry, the Mars effect has been uh, proven. Uh, Michelle Gokulan, who you are claiming as an authority, actually disproves astronomy, astro astrology, by Same every thing. bit of work he's done, 
except for that uh, Mars effect, which is under a great deal of contention and not... The only people. contention is a, is, a, is a purely statistical... Yes, yes and that's what the, Simon, that's what the problem is. Here. You still haven't answered the question. These are basic questions I'm asking. When I look in the newspaper on Sunday and then on Monday and Tuesday, I find, for the same star sign, which you obviously worked out I am, uh, I find different predictions. What I want to know is that, uh, just putting aside uh, uh, disagreements here, for you to gather support for astrologers, surely you've got to agree somewhere. Why do you write different things because about Because there are many, many factors that obviously divide into 12. But the point is there are many more factors uh, that divide into the astrology chart. Could I not say that some of them are not very good astrologers? Or they're wrong? You could say that. Is the word you wrong? You may be right. But that doesn't make you right just to say it. Some astrologers are wrong, obviously. You have to investigate it, and some astrologers can be right. Have you found some are wrong? I find the majority that know their craft are right. Is it a financially rewarding thing, this astrology? Uh, yes. Is your job financially rewarding? Of Not course. really, no. I'll talk about that I'll later. I'll have time on the other being a skeptic. <laughs> I'll have to earn a living apart from this. All right. Now, why are you a skeptic? One gets the impression a skeptic would be a sort of person you wouldn't want to sit next to a, 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 at the theatre. It's someone you wouldn't invite to your, to your house. Why are you a skeptic? Is oh, that an attitude you have? I don't think that's necessarily true. The only thing is that we just don't take things for granted. And if people go around claiming certain things are scientific, we say that we know or not, we'll challenge them. And I think it's an important thing to do that people should think for themselves instead of having their... Um, their uh, obligations and their rights to make their own decisions taken away from them. I think that's the most important freedom that we should have. Oh, yeah, but you're suggesting uh, because something's written in the paper, I don't have to take any notice. No, of it. but a lot of people spend a lot of good money to have a, an astrologer give them their uh, their chart for the year. I'm, I'm curious to know, Simon, by the way, can you be yes. sued if your astrologer's information I is wrong? I think you can be sued if, if you give any advice and back it up with I'd any like sort of guarantee. I'd love to and see And don't it. provide that's the guarantee. Like in fact, that. that's quite a good, uh, a good point. Can you see, Barry, any good in astrology? The study really, of no. No. Uh, nothing, not one thing. I can't, can think of nothing have good about it at all. Have you right? studied it, Barry? Studied yes, it. I've done a little reading on it. A that. little bit, like Bart J. Bock, who got these poor 192 scientists. Not even of these scientists. Nobel Simon, Prize. as you know, were Nobel Prize winners, so they weren't mugs. Exactly. The other 190 you'd odd weren't them to uh, have mugs investigated either, the right? subject, now, Barry. S Simon, uh, I want to get back to this thing about this little foundling, which is still at your doorstep, by the way. I mean, the love hasn't changed. No. Why is this business about uh, when you were born, why isn't it uh, related to the stars, the position of the stars, at the moment of conception? Well, astrologers po uh, prefer to think of the first breath moment as being the most significant. Do you understand the, Why? The, the difficulties now when oh, you get to the start of life? Seven minutes impossible to, de to decipher. I agree, altogether. but you understand the problems if you don't go back to conception. It's like that's the start of life, and you've made this arbitrary plus or minus few weeks. Exactly, nine and months. there are scientists who actually work on the conception moment nine months prior to birth. All right, uh, there are not scientists that do well, it. There are astrologers they claim, they, that do it. They, they they are not scientists. The simple thing, as we see here, gentlemen, is that. Uh, the proof of the pudding is what happens. Mm -hmm. If I look at my astrology of a year ago, my prediction, paid for or otherwise, and I discover it's wrong, what conclusion do I come to, Simon? Well, one would hope that what you'd read into it would be accurate, and if, if you don't agree with the rest, throw it away. <laughs> but that's true of any statement. Oh, come on. That's why it's not scientific, of course. Right. Well, yeah, I unfortunately, of course, I you think we have to have the scientific there. backing to say that statement. I knew it would be an impasse. I don't think it's going to change anyone. Thank you, Simon. I hope your year will be good. Do you know if it will be? I, I think it will. I hope it is, too. Barry, I hope that you'll be sceptical all year. I certainly will be that, Clive. And we will be back after this break. Thank you.